everybody, my name is Mike and I'm here to demonstrate you my working prototype of air purifier. I know that I and I heard people saying that air purifiers like this have been installed and been used. Unfortunately, I didn't find I couldn't find any like this. And I'm talking about specifically the form factor. We're using filters and UV light is a typical thing now. You can find it, but I'm gonna go and um, describe a few features that I implemented in specifically this device. So this is a working prototype. It's funny looking and I made it the way specifically because I have a lot low budget. I'm doing this all by my own. And the other issue is I want to show how actually simple and cheap this concept is. So this this thing itself, it, it, it it's actually a hollow tube that consists of three filters. I have two installed now, a fan and a UVC lamp. So the main concept here that differs it from many other air purif purification devices is, is actually this tube-like structure. So it's it's really easy. It's it's light. You can you can put it wherever you want. And the thing is, what it does, it sucks all the uh, it sucks all the dirty, the contaminated air from down here, filters it, and it goes all the way up, gets disinfected by UV lamp. And it's spilled on top. So by, by these means, uh, we can actually reduce, we can adjust the, the height of this device so it goes as close to ceiling as we can and as down to um, the floor as we can. And the, the thing is, by, by making this, and there, there's not much room to move with air there, it gets dissipated, reducing the turbulence and not catching the air that flows around it. So it pours out here and it slowly falls down and gets picked out again. So this motion of air when it comes from uh, top to bottom, it actually helps you to draw all the particles. Even if it doesn't uh, kill everything, it just helps to keep any small particles that, that can be circulating for extended time in the air, it helps to keep them down. And that itself reduces risk and any contaminations a lot. The other cool feature about this, so whoever stands and so it, it's, it's really skinny, slim, you can put it wherever you want. So any two people who are standing next to it, let's say if there's somebody standing right here, right in front of me, and I'm talking to him, so he gets the same fresh air as I do. It's not like you have a box uh, type air purifier that blows air, let's say up, it actually mixes with surrounding air, with environmental air, it gets contaminated, and because of the turbulence flow and venturi effects and all other effects. So then this mixture of diluted but actually infected air, even if it comes sterile from the device itself, it gets mixed right away. And it falls first to the person who is closer to the box. And then it goes to the person who is further from the box. And only if two people stay right directly in, you know, the box stands right between them. That's the only case where you can get a... Um, the fresh air for both of them and this thing so with this this type setup you have like an you know invisible barrel around here that constantly gives you fresh air everybody who stands no matter what is the location is gonna get a share of fresh air not the air that passes to another person gets infected and then to him Nobody gets a first and then second part of the air. Everybody gets the same air simultaneously. And you can put multiple of these depending on the density of uh, 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 of a crowd you're going to have in place. Uh, and they're, they're really small, so you can easily operate without having any problem with it. And so you can, you can make air as clean as you want. And again, nobody gets a, a second um, secondhand air. So what this thing consists of, I'm going to show you real quick. So this is a two-piece tube, uh, simple cardboard tube, uh, and on top of it there's a UVC lamp. So this is um, um, a, tw a 30, 30 watt watts UVC lamp, pretty powerful one, and it actually the the principles that I'm well, it has been known for for many many years that it works as it. Uh, great you know it's it's not not a new concept to use uvc light but i like putting lamp in in uh just environment let's say put it here so it shines you're not gonna get a great effect because only air that comes really close to it will get sanitized all the other air uh, is still 
going to remain contaminated and it might be harmful if it shines on people so it, it stays here locked in and uh, you don't see it light is captured inside but all the air com comes really close to the lamp and gets a really high uh, intensive radiation to kill all the germs and UVC light this specific lamp is has the spectrum of light that doesn't uh, induce ozone that's a really important thing you can stay in the same time when it's working and you don't have to get out because this doesn't do ozone um, it's only A and B uh, UV light sets that do ozone and you can actually put an extra car carbon filter here just in case you get some residual and you can use any other disinfection technology uh, if, if you like um, instead of UV light it, it doesn't matter so even if our UV light doesn't work as great as we would want it to so we have two filters here um, so the first filter is is a, a large particle filter there should be one more that's a dust filter which is a, a sponge like filter that actually um, just absorbs the bulk of, uh, of a dust and it's reusable so you can wash it and this thing is really cheap so this filter it costs just a few bucks you have to change it once in a while you cannot reuse this you have to change it but uh, if you if you have majority of this is this is for capturing dust as well so if you get majority of dust on your reusable filter you don't have to buy this much often it extends the life and the same thing goes for the HEPA filter this is a 3M HEPA filter which has 99.97% uh, of filtering capacity including filters small particles including viral content containing particles so this thing has to be replaced approximately once every six months but it's usually dictated by the contamination I mean uh, the rate it get, gets clogged up by the dust if we have dust protection it should it might actually last even longer and the last thing we have here is uh, just a simple simple fan I use a battery style fan at this time but you can use uh, any, um, any fan you, you like so it just simply pushes the air through and that's that's as simple as it is this setup would end up costing you approximately 50 bucks with assembly so compare it to price of many other products this is much cheaper of course if it gets manufactured um, yeah, large scale well it still might cost fairly cheap because manufacturers have access to um, cheaper uh, cheaper supplies you don't have to buy everything separately you can you can just make molds and do it actually maybe at the same price or cheaper uh, it depends because you have to pay people but uh, the main concept of this system you can you can put it wherever it doesn't take much room it's really it's really mobile it's um, and it gives everybody the same fresh air it doesn't uh, like unlike many other system if you put an air purifier in, in one corner you wouldn't like that bulky thing standing right in the center of the room so everybody who is if somebody stays closer and the other person stays further so the person who stays further from the air purification and the flow actually gets extra um, might get extra uh, infectious particles from the person who stands closer and with COVID we don't know who is infected that's the main problem so this is basically the concept of this thing and I would like to hear back from you, your thoughts and um, comments, so we can discuss it further. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.